Good day, my fellow Jeep and YouTubers. Today's subject. Let's look at this old two sensor. Now I've already got the harness dropped down right here, so you know, save a little time on the video thing. Cause I had it all wire tied up. It's what it's actually supposed to do. Okay. Here's your uh, O2 sensor off your exhaust, oil pan of course, here's your front drive shaft. And up here on the oil pan, there's normally a bracket up here that kind of holds all this big Molex plug up there. But whenever I did the engine swap, I kind of forgot to put it back. Oops! So, I had it all wire tied up, so I've got it dropped down now. But what we're going to do is, one, you see where it's at. Let me back the camera up a little bit so you guys can get a better shot at it. Again, here's your front drive shaft here, front pumpkin, front diff, whatever. O2 sensor, here's your exhaust, just so you know where it's at. You gotta have four wires coming out of it. What you got, we're gonna test these two wires here, which are the uh, heater circuits. Then this black wire right here, and the ground actually on the sensor itself. Now, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to show you guys on a different sensor, so I'm not going to pull this one out. But I've got a different sensor to come out of an 06 TJ, which is the exact same principle. The plug shape different on the uh, TJs. But this right here's got a uh, square plug. Uh, get the camera position here. But this right here's got that square plug for the 91 model. The 06 TJ has a uh, flat plug, but you'll see that later in the video. So what we're going to do is... I'm going to go ahead and unplug it. We're going to test these two white wires. What that's going to do is, is the heater circuit. And what that is, the uh, O2 sensors. Okay, let me so put this back in position here. The O2 sensor has a built-in heater. I mean, it's got to get up to temp before the it starts sending the correct signal back to the uh, computer. And so what those two white wires do are heats up the circuit. To say yo get up to temp let's do the job so let's set this meter on ohms and we're gonna do come way up around here let's see if you can see that so you got the meter set right here pointing down toward the 200 on, on this particular meter uh do 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 i'm gonna reposition the camera real quick and see if we can get a better shot so you can see what the meter's doing All right, let's test this uh, heater circuit on the, old, on the old two sensor. Now, yeah, you could actually stick your leads up inside there and touch touch them that way. And what you want is these two white wires here. Those those are the leads you're checking. What I've done, I've got some wire here from my powder coat station that I tied my parts up with. I've got some wire stuck down inside there, so the back probe is just a little easier, so I can show you guys. Okay, so we can put a lead there. We put a lead there. Hopefully, they're making contact on the inside. And there you are, about 3.5 volts. Uh, that, to me, that indicates that this heater circuit could be on a little on the weak side. But what you wanna, what you definitely do not want, if you go across it and you got nothing, and there's no readings whatsoever, that's when you definitely know the heater side is bad. Let me get back down here. You can see the camera. Sorry. So come on. But you want it between five is ideally your reading is gonna be between five and seven ohms. Yeah well, you seen it. Alright, and and like I said, I'm not gonna pull this whole O2 sensor out of this one right here, but I do have another one I'm gonna show you that come out of my dad's uh TJ. A 2006 model Wrangler. So I'll see you in a moment. Now keep it right here. Now this lead here needs to go. Now this this particular oxygen sensor is out of a uh, 2006 model TJ, which is my dad's Jeep. And on this particular O2 sensor, you got four wires. You got your two white wires here. Then you got a gray. Then you got black. To test that heater, to test the sensor circuit, you want to take inside here inside the plug here I'm sorry I'm like trying to get you guys the best camera shots possible inside here you want to 
take your lead and touch the one with the black wire connecting to it. Anyway, I wanna, you guys got the point. I'll give you guys a better shot in just a moment. Watch the meter right here. I'm going to heat that tip up. And if I can keep the torch off of the meter. Anyway, you guys see it hit 0.9. They peak out at one volt, so I'm not going to take and just you know obliterate that O2 sensor just to prove a point. But it peaks out at one, and as you see, the voltage is dropping as it cools down. So that's how you test the sensor side of the circuit, or sensor side of the sensor. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, you know what I mean. Okay, we well, set our meter now over to ohms. See the little symbol right here. And you just need on the lowest one because your reading is going to be right around 5 to 7 ohms or so. As long as you're in that ballpark, that means your heater circuit's good. So, heater circuit, again, like I mentioned a moment ago, is the two white wires. So, down the side there, if you see those pins, like those pins right there and right there. So, those are the two pins you want to contacts to hit. Put one lead there. And a lead there. If I can hit the darn thing. And watch the meter. Sit right on 4.2. So the heater side of this sensor is also good. So all in all, this checks out to be a very good uh, O2 sensor. Hey everybody, let's do something a little bit random. Okay, you seen why I tested the uh, O2 sensor on that uh, on the TJ sensor? What I've done here is okay. I'm in the Jeep right now. I'm going to the gym. Uh, get my workout in for the night yeah i thought you know what i'm gonna wire up the o2 sensor in my little yj run the wires up through one of the uh plugs in the floor through the body plug and i've got the wires tied to my little meter here so therefore whenever i'm driving the o2 sensor is going to vary its voltage you know depending on what it's reading and you'll be able to see the voltage right there on the camera now, I've never done this before, so I have no idea what we're in for. So, let's find out and see what happens. Now, she's dead cold. Now, I have, I think I started up off about 30 seconds when I moved it in my driveway earlier. So she's dead cold right now, but you see as it's warming up, the voltage is rising. Back out of my driveway. as I mentioned earlier is from zero to one volt and whatever it reads in between is what what the uh, O2 sensor is telling the PCMs and what the fuel mixture is. Now the leaner the mixture meaning the more oxygen less fuel it should read a higher voltage because it makes the sensor get hotter. Don't ask me if you know, 0.9 volts is correct or whatever. I have no earthly idea because I have never done this before. But in my Mustang, I have an air fuel ratio gauge. And it tells me you know, whether I'm running rich or lean or whatever the case may be. But in this thing, I have no idea. And I've never hooked a voltmeter onto one to see what it reads. So I really not know what I'm getting into. Okay, I'm sitting down live right now. I'm about to take off. Here in a moment, we'll be getting up about 40 miles an hour, see if that does anything for it. Again, I have no idea what we're going to be learning from this.
my job, I'm ready for summertime. It's like 32 degrees around the soft top Jeep. It gets nice a little chilly. I just pulled into the gym here and uh, I just turned it off for probably even sitting here 15 seconds or so. And you see the bolt is just kind of dropped instantly, it's, yeah, which means the, it just turned off. No more heat being generated from the exhaust coming down blowing across the O2 sensor. Now, what did we learn from that? I have no idea. Uh, it was just some random th thought. I thought, hey, that'd be kind of cool. You know, I've seen the air fuel ratio gauge because my Mustang GT has a gauge in it that shows the mixture going from lean to rich, lean to rich, whatever. And um, I've never actually tested the voltage off one other than taking the torch like you've seen on the um, 06 sensor, the 06 TJ sensor. Alright everybody, well I've seen uh, the whole fun trip going down the road testing the uh, O2 sensor, or not really testing, just kind of more like uh, just watching the numbers jump around. At least I guess it shows it works. Uh, like I mentioned, I am not can't guarantee the 100% accuracy because it's an old O2 sensor. And I'm probably going to go ahead and change it here pretty soon. I'm going to do some shopping around. Let's see if I can find one that's you know, reasonably priced. I think this thing's like 60 bucks or so. I believe I can hit a couple uh, websites here and there and find uh, one a little bit cheaper. Uh, so, anyway, I showed you how, guys how to test the um, heater sensor, the heater elements. You go across the two white wires and test the uh, ohm load. You want between 5 and 7 ohm. You notice that this one was a little bit low. Even the uh, 06 uh, TJ sensor, 06 Wrangler sensor I tested, it was a little bit on the low side too. So, and if you want to be that picky with it, fine. Basically what it boils down to, it tries to heat up quickly so the engine responds faster. But if it doesn't heat up very quickly, eventually the engine's going to heat up anyway. So it's not too big of a critical issue. I don't think so. And now you guys are welcome to leave comments and let me know otherwise. Because, I mean, I'm just a backyard well, driveway mechanic. And I'm by no means am I any kind of professional. I just happen to turn a lot of wrenches throughout my years of uh, playing. So, anyway, if you like my video, thumbs up. And if you have anything you want to say, questions, whatever, down below, leave the comments. And be sure to subscribe if you haven't. If you subscribe, you will get these uh, little emails. Every time I release a new video, you'll get this email that says, Yo, there's another one. Go check it out. So, after you do subscribes, and after you do your uh, comments, go check out www.fixjeeps.com. When you go check that site, you'll see all these videos and lots of other great information on there. So you want to go check them out. It's a good site. Um, be sure to share out to your Facebook, YouTube, um, your YouTube channel, of course, um, Google+, Plus, all those other social media sites. Go check, uh, share them out. When you share out the videos, you're sharing knowledge. You're sharing knowledge. You're helping other people. That is always the best thing we can always do to help each other out. Makes the world a better place. So with that being said, you know what to do. Share it. Check out the site, subscribe, comments, and but most of all, what you need to do, have a happy, happy, happy New Year's, and everyone out of YouTube land, peace out. I want all y'all to have a great day. See y'all.